Good evening to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us. Blowback in Brockport. A man convicted of killing two New York City police officers back in 1971, Anthony Bottom, who now goes by the name of Jaleel Muntakim, is due to speak at SUNY Brockport next month. The engagement is being met with outrage from some in the community, and Brockport is saying they understand the frustration but call the presentation free speech. Christian Garzone joins us live now from the town of Brighton where Mukim Mutakim lives with more. Christian. Adam Teresa, the talk is being called a history of black resistance, U.S. political prisoners and genocide, a conversation with Jaleel Muntakim. According to Brockport, a faculty member invited Muntakim, Anthony Bottom, who was then approved for a grant. Tonight, the calls to stop this event are getting louder. Muntakim, then Anthony Bottom, joined the Black Panther Party at 16 and at 18, the Black Liberation Army. In 1971, he killed these two New York City police officers, Waverly Jones and Joseph Piagentini, in an ambush attack. He spent nearly 50 years behind bars and was released on parole in 2020, now residing in Brighton. In a statement from SUNY Brockport's president, she says she understands the blowback. She says, quote, the college has received strong feedback about this visit. Some are outraged that a man convicted of such crimes was invited on the campus. Others look forward to the opportunity to learn about his experiences, end quote. She went on to add they do not support the violence he exhibited 50 years ago, and his presence on Brockport is not an endorsement. Rather, she says, the school believes in freedom of speech. Knowing this conversation will be uncomfortable, she says it's meant to gain a new perspective. In a statement, the Rochester Police Union said the taxpayer-funded talk should be replaced with a better lesson, with Union President Mike Mazio asking for a talk that promotes positive change and will bring Bring people together, adding they will always stand behind their slain brothers in blue. The wife of one of the deceased police officers is demanding the event be canceled, saying Muntakim emptied 22 bullets into her husband's body. There's no indication yet if the school plans to change the talk, still scheduled for April 6th. And in a tweet, Rochester Chamber President Bob Duffy said, Sorry, Muntakim is no political prisoner and asked SUNY not to pay him for his appearance. Live in Brighton, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam Teresa, right back to you. 